Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stassi. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you're having such a great day so far. Um, it's Thanksgiving! I'm so excited. I love Thanksgiving. I love just, you know, having sweatpants and your comfy sweater on and just, you know, eating turkey and then having like a food coma after and then like sleeping on the couch for like five hours. I love that. Um, so today I thought it would be really fun um, if I showed you how I built my dining room where you'd have like a classic like uh, Thanksgiving dinner set up. So I can't wait to show you. Let's jump in. Okay, so here we are. Um, I did use uh, this photo as inspiration. Okay, kind of for what I was, you know, going for. So I wanted to make sure I had the, you know, the nice white fireplace and I wanted um, the wooden table and all the food and stuff. Um, I don't know about you, but I love uh, Thanksgiving. It's actually a tradition in my house. I started about six years ago. We have Friendsgiving and it's the party of the year for me. So I host all of my best friends. We all come to my house and I cook them a uh, turkey dinner, um, uh, homemade stuffing, uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. And it's up to everybody else to bring, you know, additional sides like vegetables. Um, uh, my best friend, Paul always brings like the best, like cheesy mash, like chef's kiss. Um, but I always have like such a great time. Um, I was kind of, I was, I was really sad last year because, um, obviously due to COVID-19, like we had to cancel Friendsgiving, um, it was really bad at the time and I was really sad because that would have been my fifth year, but obviously like everyone's health and safety always comes first. So it was on the day and I was just looking at my fiance and I was just like, oh, we'd be having dinner right now. And he's like, I have a surprise for you. And um, I, I, I come sit down and he, is, he has hosted a virtual Friendsgiving for me and I absolutely bawled my eyes out. Um, it was one of the nicest things that anyone's ever done for me because Friendsgiving is very, very important to me. And he went ahead and, you know, did this virtual uh, Friendsgiving for me and it was just so nice. So um, Jason, I know if you're watching this video, um, thank you so much. Um, that was, again, one of the nicest things that anyone's ever done for me. But um, anyways, um, I love thing I love Thanksgiving slash Friendsgiving. Um, you know, we all get together, we have a glass of wine, we just kind of talk about our lives. But something I always do um, is before we eat, like I'm not a very religious person, but we don't say grace or anything. Um, what we do is we say what we're thankful for uh, throughout the year. And it, it can literally range from anything. It'd be like thankful I didn't get a speeding ticket when I should have, or uh, thankful that I got a job, or family's healthy, and and all that stuff. And it was it, it was just really nice. We had, we had a lot to be really thankful for. Um, I mean, we we had jobs. We had a roof over our head. Um, we weren't sick with COVID at the time. So um, it, it was a lot to be definitely really thankful for. Um, so um, I'm very excited that this year we're going to have Friendsgiving. It's in a couple weeks. Um, I'm super, like, oh, I'm just so excited, like, I just can't wait to have my friends over at my house and just, you know, make them some turkey dinner. But anyways, I feel like enough about me uh, and my my uh, Friendsgiving plans. So I wanted to have like this like filled table. Like, you know, when you go to like Winners or Home Sense or in the States, like Macy's or any like the home decorating stores, like the table is just filled. So um, I actually broke my rules. I don't usually build with a lot of CC. Um, and I know there's debug food items, but like if you saw the plate and there was like nothing on there, that's usually the norm I have is that the food just shows up with an empty plate. I don't know if there's a better uh, debug sheet. I'm not 100% sure. So I went ahead and I downloaded a bunch of uh, food CC. Now I did have a lot of issue um, because I downloaded a whole bunch, but every time I'd open up the game, it's like, you must delete this. So I, I, I went through and I deleted like, 
30 or 40 of them that I uh, downloaded, but I'm very happy that I have some here. So I understand that like there's actually no turkey on this table. Uh, I could not find a uh, turkey CC to save my life. I could not find it in debug because every time I would put the plate down, the plate would just be empty. And if you gameplay that, uh, the plate is just dirty. And that's not what I wanted. So when I had, when I had to take the photo, I didn't just want a bunch of like green smoke coming out because that's not a Thanksgiving dinner that I want. Um, so anyways, I'm just adding um, some candles. I thought that would be a really nice touch. Um, normally um, in my household, when we have Thanksgiving, um, we sit together as like one giant family and then we have do buffet style on the other table. Um, that's with my dad and my stepmom. And with my mom, uh, she's an angel. She will cook everything, does not need an inch of help, and she will plate it for us and we'll sit down and just eat it. So I love both aspects of it, um, but I definitely like the buffet style as well because you can, you know, you can get what you want. Because the thing I like to do, and not a lot of people like to do it, is I, at the end, so you have your turkey, you got your potatoes, you got your vegetables, you got your stuffing, and you're kind of at the odds and sods. I like both pour a pound of gravy on my plate and then I'll take a bun and then I will soup up everything and then I will eat that bun and that is the best bun I'm probably gonna have all year and then if I'm still hungry after I do the same thing I just take a plate of gravy and a bun and just soup it up and it's so good um, I don't know about you um, I also love turkey leftovers um, I've cooked I want to say over 10 to 15 turkeys in my life now. So I don't want to say I'm an expert, but I definitely had some really great teachers teach me along the way on how to cook a turkey. But I, my mom always used to say this to me and I didn't get it at the time, but now I for sure get it. That turkey tastes better the second day. And I would be like, mom, you're crazy. Turkey always tastes best the first day. What are you talking about? No, it takes about the second day because it didn't, it didn't take eight hours to put it together because I don't know how many times my girlfriends and their significant others will be sitting down, we'll be eating turkey and everyone's like, Stassi, this is so good. This is so delicious. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, yeah, I'm super not hungry because I'm super stressed still from making this dinner. But yes, it's super good. So anyways, I'm just really excited that I got to do that. Um, but I'm going to be really honest with you. I was really happy how this table turned out. Um, I am a clutter fiend. It's not a secret, but just like, look how like nice that is. I definitely wanted to say the CC really did make a difference. Um, I really wanted to use the, um, uh, the casserole dishes that came in, um, country living and, um, the country kitchen. And I, I did, I did use a couple of them. They were just so big and then I would take them down and then it would cut into the in the bowl and what I tried to do was just take the CC food and kind of like mash it in so it looked like it was in the casserole dish. Um, unfortunately that was not as super successful as I thought it was going to be. Uh, anyways, uh, so now I'm kind of done with the table and I'm just adding decorations to the fireplace. So like, here's the photo again. So you, you kind of see like you have like your candlesticks, you have some plants and stuff. Um, I couldn't really match it 100%. Um, I couldn't find the exact uh, candles and the exact plants, but that's best as I can do. Um, I like that reef. Now I think it's a little too big. Now looking at it, I still think it's a little too big, but go big or go home. Um, so I, I know in here, like in the photo, it had like, like vegetables and stuff. And unfortunately that was part of the CC that I had to delete. So I was just like dessert, that's fine. And, um, I like that. I'm just adding the floor. It's just a very classic dark floor. If you've literally watched any of my builds, I use that floor for absolutely everything. And then I was like thinking, because you can see the white panels on the wall. And like, I know The Sims has like this white panels, but I, I don't like how it's like, like it's taken a photo of. It's not deep enough. And when I say it's not deep enough, like when you look into panel walls, like you can see the shadow underneath. I didn't, I, I don't like it. it. It just looks like it's like wallpaper over top. Um, so I am obsessed uh, with um, the white bricks in Country Living. I literally use them for everything, like literally any room, any design. So uh, you're seeing me trying to be like, oh yeah. So the, I wish I've had these and I'm like, yeah, but the, the bricks are along the side are just a little too much. So I just, I just change it up and then I add a rug. Also, um, 
my camera cut out, didn't realize it, and I added more stuff after, so oops. Sorry, but uh, anyways, here's my dining room. I definitely would love to hear your experiences with Thanksgiving. Like, I know not every family eats turkey, but I do, but I definitely want to hear your thoughts below. And there you have it. There is my... Uh my dining room with ready for Thanksgiving. Uh, thank you so much for, you know, taking time out of your busy day and watching this video. And also happy Thanksgiving to all the Canadians out there. I hope you're having a really good Thanksgiving. Um, I hope you're able to spend it with your family. Um, if not, I hope you were able to do some form of uh, activities with your family or even just, you know, having Netflix and having a glass of wine. Like it's been a really crazy fast year. Like I can't believe it. We're already talking about Thanksgiving. Um, we're going to blink and it's going to be Christmas, but um, I definitely want to stop and say something that I'm really thankful for is I'm really thankful uh, to all the support I've had so far starting this channel. Um, it has been overwhelming. Um, you guys are amazing. You guys, you know, keep me coming back for more. You guys are just, you know, you're, you're just amazing. And I could not be more thankful to be part of this uh, Sims community. I feel like I've just got my foot in the door and I can't wait to share everything that I'm working on. Um, I have a lot of amazing projects coming down the pipeline, but thank you again so much. Um, you know, if you ever want to, you know, reach out to me and you're just, you know, we just want to talk. Like I'm, I'm, I'm always here to DM. I'm always here to help any Simmers. If you have any marketing questions for Sims, please DM me. I, I want to help you. I want to help everybody succeed around me because when we all, when, when I succeed, we all succeed. So uh, I do want to say thank you so much um, to the community. You guys are absolutely amazing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, like I said, it's been an absolute pleasure. I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye.